listen, when I first started out with real estate when I was 23 years old. I was cutting a lawn. Some Jamaican guy comes out. He says, did you read this book, man? I said, no, I didn't read it. So he hands me Rich Dad, Poor Dad. Cool. So I read the book, read right through it. Then I bought his next book. Then I bought his next book, Cash Flow, The Investing One. I'm reading all this stuff, and I'm like trying to apply the real estate to my life with the whole cash flow quadrant and all that stuff. I'm trying to apply it, but I'm going, I'm in, I'm in Monmouth County. I'm applying these numbers to even brick, Howell, freehold. The numbers are not adding up. They're not making sense, right? It doesn't make sense at all. Basically I'm buying a piece of property, renting it out and I'm not making any money. So the whole purpose of investing is to be, for my opinion, is to be create financial freedom. So what I'm doing is I'm taking on more of a burden. So when this guy doesn't pay me, to me, it's becoming a liability. Mm -hmm. And listen, at that point, it's like, yeah, do I make a capital gain over 10 years? Yeah, but the struggle that I'm going to go through, I can't only do one deal if the first deal makes doesn't make sense, the second deal doesn't make sense, the third deal, you, you, can't, build a, you yeah. can't build a house on shit bricks. Truth. You know, so at the end of the day, it's like I'm applying this to numbers that don't make sense. Mm -hmm. So, you know, the luck of Instagram, you know, going through people's stuff, and I stumbled upon this guy that's happened to be a fraud now, but that's besides the point. That. Um, and I drove myself down to Patterson and worked with his, his sister-in-law. Mm -hmm. And she got me understanding how people build these portfolios and how they start out with, you know, I love the, the Instagram story. Start out with nothing, pull a line of credit. Listen, we all know it. You're a lender. You it's all, debt. We, we all know. We all know where that it goes. Sounds right? good. Sounds yeah. great on Instagram, right? Mm -hmm. You probably got like a million likes off of it. Yeah. Good for you. Yeah. You can take that home to your mom. But <laughs> at the at the end of the day, though, it's not real life. So, you know, just say you have a hundred grand to start with, and you have a good debt to income ratio. Mm -hmm. Apply that to places that I hate to say that people don't want to go. Mm -hmm. The cap rate, the the income is going to be a lot bigger. And yeah, is it risky? Yeah. The first house I walked into, I, I stepped over a body on the floor and the guy was high out of his mind. Damn. But that's the house that I wanted. Right. Because at the end of the day is that it made sense number wise. And, you know, the guy from Monmouth County is going to step over that body and say, let's get the hell out of here. Right, right, but right. me, I'm like, listen, the price just went down 10%. <laughs> you know? So if it makes number sense, then it makes sense and that's it. Because at the end of the day, whether you're buying a house in the hood or you, if you're buying it for bottom barrel price, we all know it's go, always going to go up. Mm. You know, my first house I bought was $109,000. Rental property. I did a flip in Howell before that, right. a couple of flips before that, but my first rental property was for $109,000. At that point in my life, I was like, how can I lose? Right. Yeah. You know, my car's 100000 now. Right. You know, that's saying that I'm rich, but that's yeah. the average car now, right? Bill right, knows. Right, right. Yep. You can't buy a car for anything less than 50000 anymore. Uh -huh. It's like, Especially if you need like a family SUV. Oh, that's what I'm saying. It. You're done. You're banged out, bro. Yeah. yeah. I mean, so at the end of the day is, you know, that's more of a liability to me to buy this sixty, seventy, eighty thousand dollar $80,000 SUV for your family riding around in style mm -hmm. than buying a $100,000 building that you know is going to be, that building today is worth $400,000. And I only bought that in 2021. Beautiful. 2020, 2021. Took a little Take bit of time to close.